Hi Anna and everybody. My name's Laura. I'm an English tutor and tarot reader from Southampton. I have been spending the last few years of my life traveling and I came back from Europe for um, a few weeks to convert my van, which I live in, and that was in February. So I'm still here. I kind of got stuck here. Um, I do intend to go off at, again at some point, but I am, to be honest, slightly apprehensive about going to Spain and Portugal and I don't know how strict they are out there compared to England. Um, I've kind of been putting it off actually but I, I will be going probably in the next couple of months. I have been spending the last few months basically full-time researching everything that's been going on. I mean it's lucky that I'm not working very much because I don't know how I'd be able to cope with that to be honest because it's I think the main feeling for me that comes and goes has been just this feeling of feeling overwhelmed um, with the amount of information that's out there and just diving deeper and deeper into the rabbit hole of all, this, all the conspiracy kind of things that, that is going on from the truth seeking communities and from the spiritual communities. So people who are uh, maybe kind of more channeling information um, and who are saying very similar things to the, the truth seeking side. So. It's been absolutely fascinating and it's it's helped me a lot, I think, to look down that spiritual path and see some alternative explanations about what's going on. So talking about things like an ascension that's happening, so a, um, a real jump in consciousness of people. And for me, I can, I can see that happening already. I mean, I felt it over the last few years, but particularly now, I think one of the positive things about everything going on is that it, it does, sh it has shaken up a lot of people to go and do their own research, to spend more time by their by themselves. Um, and I think the spiritual side of things has helped give me a perspective on a lot of things going on. And so for me, the masks is, it, it's such a huge thing for many people and the importance of it. But for me, it's just one tiny part in a huge web of what's going on. And I, I'm not a mask wearer. I have no intention. I don't even own a mask um, at the moment anyway. Um, for me, it is a another tiny step in the road towards to a totalitarian society, which I am um, not up for. <laughs> I have also been researching recently a uh, common law and how that can help a lot of things that are going on at the moment, a lot of the issues in terms of um, people who are worried about the 5G and the vaccinations and things like that. The common law gives us our, our fundamental human rights which have been breached and violated for years and years and years. So. This is also now taking up a lot of my research time. I've become involved with some protest groups in London, Stand Up X and in Bournemouth. Uh, we, we do a silent protest every Saturday at the Town Hall against the unlawful lockdown restrictions and the 5G and the vaccines and things like that. And we've had some really great support from our signs and information that we put up and um, people just wanting to ask questions. and. For me, that has helped me tremendously to have that support because I found that there is so much divide and conquer going on, so much splitting all the time of, of different social groups. And um, people that I last year thought I had so, so much in common with, all of a sudden it's like I feel worlds away from them in many ways and it's quite sad. Um, And I'm trying really hard not to get caught up in the agenda for agenda towards judgment and fear, which is going on at the moment. I'm really trying to kind of stay grounded in myself and um, to set a good example for people. Um, I mean, I was in the shops. I think I've only been to the shops once since um, last Friday, and I wasn't wearing a mask. And a little girl was standing couple of meters away from me with her dad and she must have been about eight years old and she was wearing a big black mask and when she saw me and saw that I didn't have a mask she became so frightened and um, 
I just smiled at her and I said, it's okay. I'm, <laughs> um, I'm not scary. And I just gave her a big smile. Um, so for me, the most important thing is to just try to get myself happy so that I can have enough energy to go out and, and to smile at people and just to spread that because that is what the world needs at the moment, but it's, it's not easy. And, um, and some days I just, I can't even bear to go out, to be honest. I've become quite a hermit recently, especially. And I'm trying to kind of like push myself out of that. But having like-minded people in my protest groups has helped to give me the energy for the rest of the week. I go there every Saturday and then I, I remember um, the reality of, of how I see things rather than getting kind of bogged down with the fears of everybody around me. So, um, yeah, I, uh, I have a lot of hope for the future from all the research I've done and, but just intuitively within myself, I have a lot of hope. So, um, yeah, take care everybody. <laughs>